Hey everybody, my name is Dan Clark, and uh, today I wanted to do a talk, and I want to specifically aim this talk at Jehovah's Witnesses. I, I just want to have a heart-to-heart -heart with Jehovah's Witnesses, and I want to have a talk with those who may be on the fence. And today I want to try to convince you that you need to run. You need to get out of there because Watchtower is collapsing. And Watchtower is becoming a disgrace. A disgrace. Why would I say a disgrace? How can I be say how can I say that? Well, if you look at the Australian Commission, you know what was going on there, that the, the governing body hiring these attorneys that were blatantly lying. You could see that. You could see they were lying. You know, this fellowship people don't have to stay in the back of the hall. They can intermingle. You know, the pedophilia, the two-person rule, they won't budge on it. We're not going to budge, budge on our shunning and, and all these different things. Just stubborn, hard people, right? And uh, so, so on the world scale, the world is now, and the governments now, see, governments usually don't get involved with religion too much. They got a, you know, charity-free status. They get to worship as they will. But they're getting involved with Jehovah's Witnesses. Why are they getting involved with Jehovah's Witnesses? Because it's come to the attention that Jehovah's Witnesses were hiding their pedophiles in the, in the congregation. They, they weren't uh, making this uh, known to the public authorities. They say they are, but, you know, they buried this stuff in there. They got rid of a lot of the files and, you know, they just been operating, you know, below the law. So the governments have taken a closer look. They've literally said, screw these suits and ties. Let's look at what the hell we're dealing with here. And what they're dealing with is some hard ass people that are consciousless. They don't care. They're lying, blatantly lying. You know, the whole thing about the disfellowshipping 100% lies and they don't care. Now, here's what I want to say. Here's what I want to say to those Jehovah's Witnesses that say they have the truth and the truth will set you free. You know, that was a bragging right when we were in. We said we had the truth. We knew God's name is Jehovah. We were upright. We wore a suit and tie. We went door to door, right? And, you know, we were really proud of that. But the fact of the matter, the record, the record is time, right? When they say there is no answer, time is the answer. Time will tell. Time has revealed that Jehovah's Witnesses is a false prophet, right? And just in my time, I've seen three or four false prophecies. I, I lived through the 75 one with my dad. You know, the 6,000 years from the world's beginning to 75, it was going to end. And you remember all that rhetoric. And then I left in the generation prophecy, the one that followed, you know, 70 or 80 years from 1914 is one generation, 70 or 80 years. It was going to end there. And then there was the overlapping generation that went on and on. And so I left there, but here, here's the question. I, I'm going to talk about this chart. I'm going to talk about who Jehovah's Witnesses used to be and who they are now and, and how this whole infrastructure works with Jehovah's Witnesses. But I just want to ask you guys, I want to ask the Jehovah's Witnesses, those on the fence, those that are still hanging on, what are you hanging on to? Think about it. False prophecies. I'm just looking at you in the eye. You don't care. You do not care about false prophecies. You don't. You've seen the 75. Don't let the governing body tell you it never happened. It happened. The generation prophecy, it happened. The overlapping generation, it happened. And whatever the hell else they had in between there. But here's the problem. Here's, here's what I'm, I'm thinking about. I'm starting to wonder about those who are still in. They don't care. They don't care that the watchtowers hit pedophilias. That's the second thing on my list. They don't care. They just they, they just tie the blinders on their head and they could care less. We, we don't know about pedophiles. We don't care. It's all over the news. Look at Pennsylvania. Look what's happening in Pennsylvania. Don't care. You say you want truth over falsehood. God or Jehovah represents truth, right? Not governing body. Truth over falsehood. So you got pedophilias. You got the Watchtower Investments. It's all over. You can look it up. It's all over the internet. Watchtower investing in military, you know, kind of sub subsets from that. Tobacco, you know, all these different things. And all the things they've told us to stay away of. Don't participate in the military. Don't do this. Don't. But they're investing in them. Lots of them. And lots of money. You don't care. That's what's weird. You say you're, you're the truth. You're the way and the truth. And you have the truth. What truth? False prophesying for over a hundred years, pedophilia hidden. 
Investments. You know the investments. We just read them. How about this one? Selling off your kingdom halls. I don't care. I went down to the kingdom hall and I filmed some guys at the door. You know, what do you guys think? You know, they're selling off your kingdom halls. We don't care. We don't care. Whatever Jehovah wants. No, no. What, what, not what governing body wants. You're selling off your kingdom halls. And who, who are you selling them off to? Who are you selling them off to? Marijuana clinics. Oh my God. Think about this, guys. We built those halls. I built a lot of them with my own hands, right? And to see another church. Now, now we took this hall and we worked all night long and we ate cookies and we put down the carpet and we put in the cabinets and put up the walls. And, and then we did what? We dedicated it to Jehovah, right? Oh, thank you, Jehovah. Oh, my God, this is wonderful. And we had a meeting in there and set up some chairs and we was crying and all of us were crying. And then Watchtower, Watchtower sells it to a church to further the church work. Think about this. Think about this, you JWs, you guys that are on the fence. You couldn't go into another church for a good reason. Here's a good reason to go in there. Your daughter's getting married. Your daughter is getting married. She's never going to get married again, maybe, right? But she's not going to get married again. This is her big day. And Watchtower says, you will not go in that church. It's a disgusting place that causes desolation. And yet Watchtower builds them a church. They take Jehovah's building that we dedicated Jehovah, they sell it and they put a steeple on it. And they say, we don't care, it's just a building. Now you don't care, it's just a building because it's real estate and money. But think about that. You couldn't go into a church for a good cause. You couldn't go in there to go to the bathroom. You couldn't go in there for a wedding. You couldn't even go for a funeral. If your father died and he, he decided to leave the witnesses and was a Catholic, he's he going to be buried once, right? You couldn't go. But Watchtower can sell it to a marijuana clinic. Watchtower can sell it to a church. But here's the problem again. You don't care. You don't care. You say you have the truth. You say you want the truth. You say you believe in the truth. Oh, God's name Jehovah. You know, all this stuff. Watchtower is blatantly lying. A hundred years of false prophesying. More. Hiding pedophiles. Investment. Selling kingdom halls. Recalling the literature. I don't care. I don't care if, if they call back to literature. The literature, they said, was given to people. at the, It was spiritual food at the proper time. Remember? Jehovah has placed governing body. Right? The faithful and discreet slave. You are my faithful and discreet slave. And I place you over all the, my belongings. Right? I mean, think about this. The literature has been recalled. It's been regurgitated. It's being recycled. All the pages are being recycled. I don't care. That's witnesses. Tie a blindfold on their head, right? Tie a blindfold. I don't care about uh, false prophecies. I don't care about pedophilia. I don't care about investments. I don't care if we're selling our buildings. I don't care if the literature is being called. Um, I don't care about the Australian Commission, right? What's this other one, right? Um, you don't care where Watchtower gets their info. We're going to go over this. Where did Watchtower used to get their info? They got it from Jehovah, right? They said that Jehovah is giving them the spiritual food to put into the Watchtower and Awake to give to you the spiritual food at the proper time. Except it wasn't the proper time. It wasn't spiritual food. They're regurgitating it. It's in the dumpsters. What, the, what people have in the house, they're calling back. And you say, I don't care. I don't care. Who cares? Don't matter. I serve Jehovah, right? And so it goes on and on. And uh, let's see what else I got here. Yeah, you know, now they're now they're telling you Jehovah's decided you can have a beard, right? Jehovah's decided you don't have to go door to door. If you turn in time, just turn in your time and we'll trust whatever that is. Put whatever number on it you want. The meetings are half of what they used to be. You remember when they said, do not forsake the gathering of ourselves together as some have the custom, but all the more so as you behold the day drawing near. Don't ever miss a meeting. Who cares? Shrink them down. Make them last. Get rid of the book study. Yeah, you know, we're going to put the watchtower down. To do it all the more so as you behold the day drawing near. No, now we're shrinking them down to nothing, right? And I've had people tell me that. I've actually met people and they're like, hey, Dan, you ought to come back, man. It's easy now. It's easy. We don't have to do time. Yeah, you know, the meetings are shorter. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. That's what they're telling me, right? And so it goes on and on. And so let's see what I say right here. Um, so so the question I, I, I have to Jehovah's Witnesses is why? 
Why don't you care? Why don't you care? And, and that's part of the reason I, I, I did this, because I want to walk you through something in an endeavor to see an even bigger picture. I've got to I've got to let you see an even bigger picture of Watchtower so that you can see there's got to be no excuse here. I, I mean, it's getting to the point, guys, where you can't say I'm blind anymore. You can't say I, I, I'm just brainwashed. I don't know. You have to take off the blinder at some point if you want truth. If you want truth over falsehood, I'm not talking about governing body. And if you want truth over falsehood, you've got to take off your blinder. Now, I'm going to go through this chart here, and I'm going to walk you through step by step what the organization is so that you could see for yourself. And I'm going to show you also what it is now and how it works and how other religions work. OK, so let's take a look at my chart here. And uh, we're going to say, OK, this right here, this is JW.org, right? It is a broadcasting network, just like 3ABN, the Mormons, um, all the different churches, right? They're broadcasters. They, they broadcast what it is they believe, what it is they feel, prophecies, you know, they interpret the Bible. So JW.org is a broadcasting network. It's also a receiving network. It's a receiving network, right? Because it has to get its information from somewhere. So Truthfully, JW.org is no different than Fox News, CNN, or any other religious organization, right? They get information in, they receive it, then they broadcast it, and then it goes into the, to the churches, right? So here's how JW.org works. Here's how, how they said it worked. This is how it used to work, and I'm going to show you how it works now, and it's quite different. So really watch this. This is what it used to be. And this is what it is now, okay? So we're going to go over here. So so when I was in Jehovah's Witnesses, this is their headquarters, right? The eight men, you know, that run Watchtower, right? They said that they heard directly from Jehovah. Now, this has changed. This has changed today. They said they were born along by Holy Spirit. They said they were the faithful and discreet slave who Jehovah has appointed. Now, listen to this. Over all capital L, capital L, capital A, capital L, capital L, over all his belongings. Jehovah has placed governing body over all his belongings, up here, over all God's belongings. So this, let's just say this is an antenna, right? So Watchtower said they had the antenna, right? They were the ones who had the truth. You don't teach governing body, they teach you, right? You don't teach governing body, governing body teaches you. Um, you don't study without governing body. You don't interpret without governing body. You don't read other literatures to care to to compare against governing body. You just follow governing body, right? So it's very strict. We hear from Jehovah. We receive it into the headquarters, right? They're receiver, right? They're broadcasters. They're not broadcasting yet. They're just receiving right now. So somehow they receive, right? And it's funny. Nobody's ever asked that. When I was in, we used, we used to say, oh, they just hear Jehovah, and we don't, you know, and we'll just follow blindly, right? So they said they were the receiver. So they get the information in here, and then they they put it into their, to their books and tracks and everything, and then they broadcast it. They broadcast it into the kingdom halls, right? These are representative of the kingdom halls. So JW.org um, is a receiver. They receive from Jehovah. And then they take it into the headquarters and they distribute it or they broadcast it in the kingdom halls. And these are all the kingdom halls. And then the people go into the kingdom halls <laughs> after they've received it. Then the kingdom halls, you know, uh, put it into the people. The people go into here. They get the download from here. So the download goes from Jehovah into the to the uh, headquarters, into the kingdom halls. And then the download goes from the kingdom halls into the people. Now, this is exactly how religion works, too. It's identical. Every religion is the same. It, it, it goes from here. They, they hear specially from God, right? They're special. They've got, the, they got the, 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 the angle on the truth, right? All religions have the angle on the truth. So they hear from God. It goes into their headquarters, disperses into the churches, and then disperses from the church into the people. And then the people take it out and broadcast it to the world. So you see how that works? Receiver into the Jehovah's organization, and then Jehovah's, and then the the Watchtower 
um, JW headquarters broadcast it into the kingdom halls. And then the kingdom halls broadcast it to the people. And then the people broadcast it to the world, right? Now, here's what is changed. This is a very important what has changed. It's kind of changed, but listen to this. This is real important. Watchtower now says we don't, we're not spiritual. You know, we're not led along by, by spiritual things. We don't, we don't have this connection. Now, here's the thing. They don't say this to, to these people. They don't say it to the kingdom hall. See, what they say to the kingdom hall is you better listen to us like your life depends on it because it does, right? So that's what they tell the kingdom hall. But as far as the media, when the media inter interviews them, they say, no, we're, we're not doing anything. We're not spiritually led. We, we don't hear any special voice. We don't hear anything here from Jehovah. We're not born along by Holy Spirit. We're not, we're not the faithful and discreet slave. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like this part's totally gone now. And so what they're saying now is what these guys are, these eight people are, is they're just supporting these guys that work for free. <laughs> so basically they're saying these are a bunch of volunteers, and really they are. These are a bunch of volunteers that decided to work in the kingdom hall, right? Go door to door. And the guy that's the elder, he loves, you know, being an elder and he loves um, working for free. And, uh, and so... The governing body now is saying, we just support these guys. We just give them a little admonition, a little pat on the back, um, and, and we kind of help them keep going. But they say this isn't here anymore. They say this part here is not here, this connection to, to God. But yet, Jehovah's Witnesses can't read their own literature. They can't interpret their own Bible. They can't have their own Bible study without the governing body. So see, this is what's happening right here. These guys are pretending this don't exist to, to the media. And the media sees through it. The media sees that these guys are liars. These guys have become liars. They've become a disgrace. And what's happening is the Jehovah's Witnesses themselves are becoming a disgrace. Think about that. If you continue, if you don't care about all the things I just read, then what kind of person are you? If you don't care about pedophilia going on in your own church and your own kingdom halls. You don't care if you false prophesied that, that these men have gotten it wrong. They heard Jehovah's voice wrong. Um, they won't admit it. You know, if you don't care and you continue to sell on Watchtower, you continue to enable these people. My question is, what kind of person are you really? And I think you need to think about this seriously, seriously. Watchtower is making a mockery out of you. They're making fools out of you. They really are. They're selling off your halls. Or, I mean, they're just doing all kinds of stuff. Now, now they're, they're begging for money. Jehovah needs money. Jehovah knows what you have in the bank. Jehovah knows if you've got an extra motorhome or an extra home, a lake house or something. Jehovah knows what you can have. And Jehovah's not doing this for nothing. You know, um, even the, the widow gave a dollar, right? And so... It's totally changed. It's totally changed. And, and the question is, the question I have, and, and the question I was thinking about last night is why? Why are these people, why are Jehovah's Witnesses choosing to keep their blindfolds on and follow blindly the governing body? It's disturbing. It's disturbing. It's becoming excuseless. Could you imagine? standing before God. I'm just saying, could you imagine one day, you know, you just say you're standing before God and he's like, you, you know, they've lied. They've, they've promoted fear. Right. And, and it says they do that. It says false prophets would promote fear. That's why the Bible says if anyone's false prophesied, this was Deuteronomy. If anyone false prophesied and it didn't come true, they spoke presumptuously. It said, do not fear these ones. So as we know, the fear in, in, in Watchtower now is at a 10, right? The run and fire drills. The last assembly was we're going to be in FEMA camps, leave everything behind. You know, it's total panic and chaos. I, I know somebody whose mother really got into trauma, almost had a heart attack because of what's going on in the Watchtower right now because the heightened fear. So it's obvious the Bible said that those who false prophecy prophesy would be fear mongers. That's why it said do not fear these ones, right? So it's at the point now where people are starting to wonder 
about, you, you know, you look at James, Jim Jones and those people and you look at the followers and you think, boy, boy, those are crazy. I mean, these people that, you know, that Manson who was leading them and Jim Jones and, you know, these different ones, you say, man, they were nuts. You know, they're following this. But when you look at the Watchtower, is it is it any more sane than that? I mean, you know, people are starting to say, who are these witnesses? They're not looking at the disposition anymore. They're not looking at the suit and tie. And see, it used to be that way when I was young. You know, you'd you'd look at the witnesses and you'd say, boy, they're clean cut people. And they had a suit and tie. And they'd come to your door and, you know, and they'd have their hair over their ears and they look good. And the sisters were in dresses. And the world's looking beyond that now. The government's looking beyond that now. They're looking at, wow. These guys are stiff neck people. Who does that remind you of? Doesn't that remind you of Pharaoh? All this stuff coming down on Watchtower, pedophilia, taking their, you know, charitable status, all of this exposure and Watchtowers are stiff, stiff neck like Pharaoh. And the plagues are coming down on them. But they say, we will not change. We will not free the people. We will not stop. We're going to scare them to death. And those apostates are going to die. And babies, enemies, Jehovah, and Tony Morris, won't you be glad when they're all dead? And, you know, it's like, it's freaky, man. It's freaky. They're getting to be psychos. But I wanted us to talk about this today because you, you don't have to choose to be this anymore. You don't have to plug into this anymore. You don't have to be programmed anymore. The only way you can be programmed is if you plug into here. The minute you walk in the door, you're, you're going to get a program, right? You're going to get the download. You're going to get their, their download, whatever they're hearing somewhere up here, right? They're hearing something. And then they're going to they're gonna broadcast it to here. And then, of course, the elders and everybody are going to broadcast it to you, right? Well, you don't have to let that happen anymore. In fact, I want to say this to you. When you were born, when you were born, the Bible says you were knitted together in the womb by God. You were knitted together in the womb by God, right? It says God is closer than your breath, right? God knows every hair on your head. Did God mean for you to go into all this? Did he mean, is this what he, he meant when, when he said, worship me in spirit and truth? Do not put your trust in nobles nor the sons of earthly men who no salvation belongs. Eight men. Eight men running your life, saying they hear from Jehovah. Now they're saying they don't hear from Jehovah. They're not led by spirit. It's, it's, you know, it's like, is that what Jehovah wanted when he said, worship me in spirit and truth? Don't put your trust in men. And yet you do it. Yet you tie a blindfold on your head and do it. That's who this message is for today. You know, I'm just going to stop it there. But I just want you to contemplate what you're doing. Do you think there's any karma with it? Do you think there's any judgment with it? Do you think you're going to get off by promoting falsehood? You know, false prophecies? You don't care? You know, pedophile? We don't care. We don't care if they're in our hall. We don't care. I mean, do you really think Jehovah's... Do you really think Jehovah's going to let you slide just because you call him Jehovah? You say, oh, I know you, Jehovah. You're the true God. But you don't care nothing about these things. You don't care that a that the Watchtower sold your kingdom all to a church? You don't care? Really? You don't care? That's disgusting. So it's becoming really obvious that, you know, I, I used to say it's the blind it, leading the blind, but the, but the blind aren't leading the blind, guys. Governing body isn't blind. They know exactly what they're doing. And you're not blind anymore either. The truth is out there, guys. You guys are online. You see what's going on. You know, you got to open your eyes. I don't think, I don't think you're going to get away with promoting falsehood. And that's what Watchtower is doing. Watchtower is falsehood. It's proved false. When there is no answer, time is the answer. Time will tell. Time has revealed the record. The record for Jehovah's Witnesses is false. False prophecies that they won't even, even admit to. They won't even admit to these. You know, we're we're just ordinary men doing what ordinary men do. We're we're just, you know, we're infallible, you know. And you know, when you talk to a witness, right? When you go up to a witness and you say, Wow, you know, hey, what do you guys think about 75? Oh, you know, they're wonderful men, they're wonderful men, they're doing the best they can do. No, 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 no. Let's go back up here. Let's go back up here. We're over all of Jehovah's belongings. They have a direct line, they said, a direct. They're 440 wired, right? They're wired direct to Jehovah. I mean, chink, you know, that's that's watchtower. I should have made this a big tower up here, right? 
they're connected. They got the direct connection, but it's been false. It's been false. And the prophecies have been false, you know? So, I, so I think at some point, brothers, you know, I, I hope you come out of denial. I mean, you know, I don't see this being any different than an alcoholic, you know, an alcoholic goes <laughs> into 12 step and, and he says, you know, you know, he's run over people. He's, he's, he's lost his family, his job. And he comes strolling in and he goes, I ain't an alcoholic, you know? And you go, yeah, you're an alcoholic. No, I'm not. I'll fight, you know? And, and it, it's like the witnesses are becoming like that kind of drunk, kind of drunk. You know, I was at the assembly at the last assembly, the last part of the assembly. And I looked at an elder and I said, you know, what do you think about 1975? It's like he was drunk. What do you mean 75? What are you talking about? And I'm like, 75, 1975, what do you think? You know, because I, I told him, you know, that I'd left and why I'd left. And, and he goes, what do, you, what do you mean? What happened in 75? <laughs> it was like he was drunk in denial, denial, same thing. And I said, well, you know, well, let's just move it up a little bit. Let's move it up to the generation prophecy or overlap with generation prophecy. What are you talking about? What generation prophecy? You know what I mean? And it was like, it's like a drunk, right? You know, you, you've got a problem drinking. What, what are you talking about? I don't, I don't drink that much. What are you talking about? Well, look at the trail behind you. Look at the trail you've left of trouble. You, you know, you've run over the mailboxes. You know, you've done this. You've you lost your wife. You're without a job. You're You're on the street. What do you mean? Don't call me an alcoholic. And so this is what the guy was doing at the assembly. It didn't matter what I said. He had a smirk and he lied. He's lying deliberately for governing body. So I not only ask him about 1975, I ask him about the generation prophecy and I ask him about the overlapping gener generation prophecy and completely lied. I ask him about uh, disfellowshipping. I said, well, well, what about me? What if I decide to come back? You know, I'm a person that's been out 20 years. He goes, oh, you'll be back in 30 days. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. I said, I know for a fact, a lot of people, it's two to 10 years. Oh, God, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Where did you get that information? You'd be back in 30 days. Well, he, well, one, he can't say that I would be back in 30 days because he didn't know where it was that I came from. He don't know that that I've spoken against Watchtower. He don't know that. But see, just the fact that he lied and said, you know, oh, you'd be back in 30 days. It was like that drunk, you know, what are you talking about? You know? And so I really think, you know, the witnesses need to think about this. They need to think about what they're doing. You guys are propping up Watchtower. You guys are propping up falsehood. You guys are propping up pedophilia. You guys are keeping this thing going. You guys here, you don't have to go into these programs and these institutionalized places to be programmed. You don't have to do this anymore. The Bible says, do not fear these ones anymore. Run, get out, leave, figure out a way to get out of there. You've got a divine connection. In fact, the Bible says, come to me, right? Come to me directly. Not, not watchtower, come to me directly. I myself, the Bible says, will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. I myself, Lord, Tetragrammaton, I myself will make your path straight. That's what I found when I got out. I could pray to God. I could ask God for some direction and I would get it. You don't have to do this anymore. You, we, we don't have to do this. We, we don't have to do any of this anymore. Direct connection, that's what God wants, a direct connection. And he doesn't forget about us. We're his child. He born us here, right? We didn't get here by ourselves. We weren't put in the womb by ourselves. You know, God knew, you know, exactly what he's doing. He born us. He born us here. He's he's what breathed breath into my lungs. So I still have that connection with him as a child of God. And so anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you today and uh think about this if you know somebody who's a witness, Tell them to be brave and take a look at this. Take a look at it. This is very logical, very practical, very simple to understand. And hopefully that they will reflect on it. So I, I want anybody today, feel free to send this video to whoever you want. Repost it on your Facebook page. Repost it on your, your um, YouTube channel. Um, do what you want with it. Send it out, though. Get it out to as many people as we can. Because there's no more reason for these people to hang on. There's nothing left here. If they say they don't have a spiritual connection, then you don't have any more guidance. You don't have any more guides than guiding your own self. If they're saying right now they don't have a spiritual connection, look online. Go online. Look what they're saying to the media. Look what they're saying at the Australian Commission. Look at some of these places. 
they're saying we don't have that connection. No, that's not us. We're just supporting all these volunteers down here. Really good guys. Really good guys down here, these elders and these brothers. Really good men. And we're just giving them a helping hand. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're wanting to serve in the kingdom halls. They're wanting to help the community. So we're just giving them a hand. <laughs> Why not do it myself? Why not study for myself? Why not read the Bible? If you like to read the Bible, read it for yourself. Why not study with another church? Why not read some other literature, spiritual literature? You know, get out from this. Get out. Get out from Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great is falling. That's why they're asking for your money. They're asking for anything you can. they can get, your assets. They want your motor homes. They want your homes. They want anything they can get. Don't give it to them. Get out. Get out. Babylon the Great is falling. This infrastructure here is falling. And you don't have to be a part of it. It doesn't have to cave in on you. It's proved false. The record speaks for itself. Time has revealed Watchtower to be false prophets. Do not fear these ones, okay? So anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for listening in. And like I said, share the video, share the heck out of it, and give me your feedback. Let me know what you're thinking, uh, if you liked it. And uh, Angela says to say hi. Uh, she's in the other room. She said to say hi. You want to say hi to him real quick? I'll have Angela say hi so you don't think I'm here, here alone anymore or something happened. But... Uh, Anyway, hi everyone. So Angela, Angela's here. So I, she, she wasn't in because I had my big board here, right? I'm and I just point around here. and I'm going like this, you know. So <laughs> that's probably what they're going to capture you going like this and then. Oh yeah, know, oh yeah. Video. <laughs> but All anyway, right. just wanted to say hi and thank you for listening in. And like yes. I said, share this video. Share it. Let's try to help some of those guys reason and think again. That's what we're really trying to do. We want them to get their thinker going. Come out from this fog and this. This this propaganda and this programming and this fear, Watchtower's feeding them so they can be free, so they can enjoy the life you and me enjoy today. All right. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.